today on Black Parrot Maniac Shooting. Just like a couple years ago when the fidget spinner craze was going on, this week it's the silly broom challenge that you see on the internet. Where you try to get a broom to stand up on your floors and some gravitational pull nonsense or something that they've been talking about. Well, I'm going down here to the zoo bottoms and try to get me a broom to stand up. I can't wait to try this challenge. This is going to be a lot of fun. The zoo bottoms where I normally shoot is under four feet of water. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to go uphill a little bit now and try the old broom challenge. Got my broom to stand up here in Eastern Kentucky. Guess our gravitational pull a little stronger than where you live. <laughs> anyway, before we get started, it's highly recommended that you wear some type of ear protection and eyewear. All right, let's get started. Let's see how long we get this broom to stand up. If I wait more than 10 seconds, I will put this thing right to use. It's still standing. <laughs> well, we need to do something about that. Well, what I'm gonna do is put 90 grains, a 2F shoots and powder, right down in the barrel. Cap it for safety. I already lubed the patches of Mr. Flintlock lube. We'll put a .600 round ball down in here. Send it home. Put a little Swiss snow bee in the pan. Let's see if we can keep it from standing much longer. <laughs> Still standing. Let's try it again. Number three is a lucky charm. Correct? Safe again. <laughs> Guess I might have to move up a little closer. Maybe I can get it this close. I hope so. Yes! I see a hole in that handle. It fell over. No gravitation pulls gonna hold that one up. Just don't tell Mrs. Black Peter Minion Shooter I shot her broom. Ouch! That's what happens when you play with sharp toys. Oh, ouch! Ah, a little cleaning patch out of the pouch and some duct tape, and I'm back in action. Now, let's get back to shooting. Yes! Uh oh! Oh! Love the smell of that smoke. Oh, that's good for the soul. Look at that's pretty cool. <laughs> it hit on the side and it peeled it around. That's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, I guess I can peel it back around and make a good handle back out of it again. <laughs> Let's load it up and smuck him again. It's a fur piece away, as they say in Kentucky. I don't know if I get it this time or not, but I'm gonna knock it out if I can. It survived. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna load it up with shot this time. I know I'm gonna get it. I'll see what kind of holes we can put in it now. <laughs> yep, it went down. <laughs> The amazing thing is this. Aside from my blood stains all over it a while ago, it only put three or four dents in it right in here. <laughs> That's it. One, two, three, four of them is all I see. The rest of it's still pretty smooth. I have to doctor up my hands and go home and doctor my hands up. They're all split out, bleeding from fooling with that silly broom. But I couldn't wait to do this broom challenge. We'll get it one more time before we get out of here. See if I can put some serious holes in it this time. Wow! All that shot and that broom survived the challenge. Look at it, it's still down there standing up. Yeah!
It's <laughs> dense all up and down at this time. But the old broom survived again. Thanks for watching the Broom Challenge. We'll catch you next time.